Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hi, my loves. Welcome back, Libras. What's good, my loves? Come on in, have a seat. We're going to do your love reading for the month of August or ending the month of August, Libra. Okay, we're going to check in with your higher self. We're going to start out with an oracle card here to see where are your feelings, your emotions, and your thoughts in regards to this connection, Libras, in regards to this relationship, okay? And then we're going to get some tarot cards to finish up your reading to see how it all ties in together, okay? Now, the readings here may resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, or South Node, Libra placements. And also, Cross Watchers, my loves, welcome. You are welcome here as well. Okay, so let's see. Let's see where your higher self has to say for you, Libras, okay? Ending the month of August, universe, angels, ancestors, Allah, what messages do we have for my sexy-ass Libras? My AKA librarians, what messages do we have for my air signs? Uh oh, we had a jumper here, bro. With me, all right, believe and succeed. Wow, the number six, that's feminine energy. Believe and succeed. So whatever this is for you in regards to this connection, this relationship, or wherever you're pushing your toward, pushing yourself towards, or whatever this is that you're going towards, thank you, Spirit. Spirit is wanting you to believe and succeed, Libras, okay? Don't give up. Continue to push forward, okay? Wow, thank you, Spirit. Now we're going to pull the tarot cards out here, the tarot deck. To see how the messages here all tie in together, Libra, okay? All right. Thank you, angels, allies, and sisters. What messages do we have for Libra placements? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and South. No. What messages here do we have for Libra? Ooh, we have two cards here for your past energy. We have the Four of Swords here, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This is your energy, my loves, okay? Something that you definitely made sure to reflect, review over here in your past energy here. And then we also coming out with it was a Nine of Wands, okay? This definitely tells me that this is a cycle here that you are now wrapping up, Lib Libras, that you are now ending, okay? And you are now at that point in your life where you're realizing what now is worth going towards and what is not worth getting into right moving forward there wow let's see what other messages we have here we're going to get more cards out here for your present energy and more cards out for your future energy okay wow thank you what other messages do we have here for libras for libra spirit oh wow we have some cards here to jump out bro with me okay we have the Seven of Pentacles here. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. This is definitely a situation here or a connection here in your past that you definitely invested in, okay? You put your time, your energy, your love in regards to this particular person, this connection here, okay? And moving forward here, we have the Knight of Swords here, Air Energy as well. Here are your energies again. Okay, but some of y'all, this person may be Aquarius here, okay? I'm getting that energy as well, and also Gemini energy as well. But we have, again, Aquarius energy again is what I was feeling here intuitively. So some of y'all, this person may have air placements as well, Libra, in their chart, okay? But they're definitely in a situation where they view you as a star, okay? They view you as a person now that has healed, okay? So whoever this person is in the future here moving forward in the month of August and going into September, if you don't hear from him by the end of this month, Libra, okay? Verse, verse if I'm talking to a male or a female, this person is going to come towards you, okay, because they see you as now being this energy where you've healed, okay, they know what it is that you invested in with this particular person in this connection, and now they're wanting to come towards you, and I feel like now, honestly, Libras, with the face expression here, she's not quite ready for this, 
or the relationship, okay? If this is someone that's rushing in here from your past. Why I say that? Because again, we have the Knight of Swords coming in as your future energy here, okay? And for some of you all, this person is aware that you have invested your time, your energy, hell, your blood, sweat, and tears into this relationship. Is why I feel like they're rushing back in the way they are. So if you haven't heard from this person, you get ready, my loves, because you're definitely going to be hearing from this person pretty soon here, okay? And for some of you all, they may be unexpected with the Knight of Swords because that card for me is the pop-up card where this person may literally be popping up at your door, okay, just to communicate with you instead of, you know, reaching out to you over the phone, okay? So, wow, let's get some clarification here. Let's break down the cards here. Let's see, why do we have the Nine of Swords here and the Nine of Swords? Wow, I want to say the Nine of Wands, okay? So, again, this is definitely a cycle that's been ending or ending here, okay? Thank you, Spirit, okay? Because we know the Nine of Swords is all about, you know, coming to this point where you're editing everything and anything out of your life that no longer resonates with you with the Nine of Swords, Libra, okay? And you all are very well of that. You're good with learning how to edit things out that doesn't resonate with your soul or your higher self. You represent the sword energy, right? That's the air energy. So you're very intellectual and very smart and intelligent, Libras. That's why I call you my AKA librarians. You know when to cut out shit and you know when it's time to cut out shit. You can smell chaos and bullshit shit from a mile away okay you represent the queen of swords card okay i'm surprised the card ain't came out yet leapers okay so let's clarify the knight of um i'm sorry the nine of wands and the four of swords why do we have the nine of wands and the four of swords for libra why do we have the nine of wands and the four of swords for libra wow we have sagittarius energy some of y'all this person could be a sagittarius Okay, this is an energy for me that represents that you have, again, you have healed, okay? You have learned to come to a place, a time in your life where now you have gained patience, okay? You have gained understanding and what's going on around you. And thankfully, due to these people, okay, the situations that you were in, the people that you put your passion, your desires towards, because that's what the ones is all about, right? It's all about what you have as your passion, your desires, and these relationships that you build with these particular people. And for some of y'all, it could have been nine different individuals, okay? Or it could have been the person that you were with for nine weeks, nine months, hell, even nine years, okay? And now the way she has fought, the way has she has stood here strong, okay? And you are now reflecting on what now is deserving for you, okay? And because of that, now you have been able to balance yourself. Now you're not all over the place, Libras, okay? You know, Notice how she has one foot in the water and then she has one foot on ground. You're being able to ground yourself. You know what decisions that need to be made and how they need to be made. And you're being very smart about how you make your moves now just simply because of your life lessons and because of the people, the places, and situations that you have experienced here in your past. Wow, beautiful. I like it. I love the alignment. And congratulations for that, Libras, because I know it's not easy. Okay, I know those can be challenging times, right? Wow, thank you, Spirit. Let's move forward here. Let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles here. Why do we have the Seven of Pentacles here for Libras? Why do we have the Seven of Pentacles? Oh, wow, we have a jumper here. I love when the cards jump out for you, Libras. We have the Ten of Cups. Wow. Okay, so this person sees you as their... Um, you know, they're happy ever after, right? They see you as a wife or they see you as a husband. They see you as a person that to have, you know, their kids with, okay? I'm just going to keep it a buck 50. I'm going to be definitely honest with you, okay? Um, and you realize that, yes, that's all good, right? That's all great and cupcakes and rainbows, but you have realized that you have invested in this particular person in this relationship. You've given your all for some of you all, Libras, in regards to this particular person. And now that they see that you have moved on here, you have took time to reflect and revise, okay? And understand that what is your worth, okay? And your worth is simply you and to heal and to become this beautiful star that's a confirmation on my phone there for you of what it is now that you are deserving of and this person is now again seeing you as a star 
okay? And some of y'all may have your own platform where this person is viewing you, you know, observing you as well. And that's why I feel like they're rushing in here in your near future with the Knight of Swords. Wow, Libras. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's move forward here. Let's clarify the Star card and the Knight of Swords. Thank you, Spirit, for the messages here so far today. And my loves, if the reading is resonating, don't forget to like, subscribe, welcome if you're new here, my loves. And also hit that notification bell, Libra, so that way you can be notified for when your readings come out. Also keep up with the community tab. I do post when your reading is up next, and I do keep up and post daily enlightenment for us all, okay? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Universe. Let's move forward here. Why do we have the Knight of Swords and the Star card for my sexy ass Libras? Why do we have the Star and the King? The King, hold on now. The Divine Master trying to step in here. Okay, for some of y'all, that's why this person rushing in because they kind of smell or feel that you have detached yourself from them energetically, Libras, and they know that you got another King coming in. Ooh, shit. Shit, Libra say it ain't so okay and some of y'all could be an earth sign Taurus Capricorn or Virgo okay we have the six of pentacles here yes you're definitely now going to get what you are deserving of so I feel like this person this king that spirit said here is going to be someone that can give you give and even take okay this is someone that's not going to short change you okay they're going to give the same in what you put in the same thing you put out they going to put out yes fuck it up they ain't going to breadcrumb you, okay? They're not going to, you know, let you down here. You're not going to have this type of face expression no more, I feel like, as well. Another confirmation from a notification on my phone. And some of y'all are going to be getting this notification from this person pretty soon, okay? Wow, that is beautiful. So no more getting short change, my loves. You're now going to get everything that you are now deserving of. But your higher self, remember, going back to the meat and potatoes of this reading, Libra, you have to believe. Because in order to believe, you will be able to succeed. Okay? So don't give up. Know that you are worthy of whatever it is you put your mind to. Okay? You have done the work. Right? We have the tippers court out here. You have been able to balance yourself, become patient with yourself. So don't give up, okay? It's just around the corner for you. What you are now worthy of and definitely going to be receiving is even give and take, okay? And if you did not receive that in your past, it was a reason for that, okay? Everything happens for a reason, Libra, okay? Wow, beautiful. Well, congratulations on this spiritual journey. I wish you nothing but the best, Libras, okay? So, that has completed your reading for the month of August. And always remember, Libra, that your health is your wealth. I love you, Libras. Bye-bye.